In this tutorial, we'll be going over the pledge algorithm. The pledge algorithm is a maze traversing algorithm used when the walls are disjointed. The robot keeps the obstacle either on its left or right hand side and keeps track of all turns using a counter. Turns increment the counter and left turns decrement the counter. When the counter reaches zero, the robot has traversed the obstacle and it continues on its pathway towards the beacon. Let's look at some examples of the pledge algorithm in action. Similar to the first example, we put an obstacle in its direct pathway. The robot moves towards the beacon but now hits the obstacle so it will enter the pledge algorithm. It will try to follow the obstacle on its right hand side, so that means it will be turning left first. Left turns decrement the counter, and right turns increment the counter, so we will see that the counter will be decremented. It moves forward one block, and now will be turning right. Since the robot is doing a right turn, the counter will be incremented to zero. The robot will move forward one more block, and now that the counter is zero, it has traversed the obstacle, and now it will continue on its pathway to the beacon since it, it has left the pledge algorithm. I'll briefly go over how the code works for the pledge algorithm. For the right hand side algorithm, the robot always begins by turning left. For every movement, the robot will check the front, left and right obstacle sensors and perform the following logic. If there's no obstacle on its right, it will move in that direction. If there is an obstacle on its right, but no obstacle in front, it will move forward one block. If there are obstacles on its right and in front, it will turn left. The robot will continue this logic at every step, counting each turn until the counter reaches zero again. Let's look at a more complicated example so we can understand the code more clearly. In this example, we have placed more obstacles to see how the robot will react. The robot will begin by hitting the first obstacle. The robot will enter the right hand side pledge algorithm, meaning it will try to keep the obstacle on its right hand side, so it will begin by turning left. This decrements the counter to negative 1. When the robot checks its obstacle sensors, it sees there's an obstacle on its right and also in front, making the, op making the robot turn left, and which also decrements the counter to negative 2. When the robot checks its obstacle sensors, it sees there's an obstacle on its right but none in front, making the robot move forward one block. There is no obstacle on its right, so the robot will move in that direction, which will also increment the counter to negative 1. The robot checks its obstacle sensors and sees there is an obstacle on its right, but none in front, so it will move forward one block. Same as the previous square, there's an obstacle on its right but none in front, making the robot move forward one block. So now the robot sees there's no obstacle on its right, so it will turn right and move forward in that direction, one more block, which increments the counter to zero. So now the robot sees that its counter is zero, so it leaves the pledge algorithm and has successfully completed the pledge algorithm, so it will continue on its pathway towards the beacon. Note that in this tutorial, the right hand side algorithm was described. For left hand side algorithm, all right turns are left turns instead, and vice versa. The robot will decide whether to do a right hand side or a left hand side, depending on the scenario. You may be asking yourself what happens when the robot has completed the pledge algorithm since the counter is zero, but there's still an obstacle in front of it. Now if we take our previous example, let's say we put an obstacle in front of it. 
now that there's an obstacle in front of it, the robot cannot go forward towards the beacon like it would otherwise try to. So now, what would it do in this case? It would actually re-enter the pledge algorithm, and it would try to traverse the obstacle like it previously did. That concludes this tutorial about the pledge algorithm. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching.